if this audio quality seems a bit uh, not high quality, I'm recording with my uh, Black Magic camera. I'm going to show you guys real quick how you can make a LUT that you can put into your Black Magic camera using DaVinci Resolve. You can also obviously use this in your editing software. They do have three different options and uh, only one of them out of the three work to actually work on your Cinema 4K camera. And I'm going to show you which one. Now, I'm assuming you already kind of know DaVinci Resolve or know how to color correct. Otherwise, I mean, it's a bit of a confusing color correction process in here. But if you experiment, you know, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and open up a project that I've already created a lot in. As you can see, there's what I had right here. Just turn this on and off, that's with or without LUT. So this, that's my color correction stuff, I just right click it. And then you don't go to generate uh, Panasonic or 65, you go to generate 33 point cube. Don't know exactly what difference that makes, I, I know that it, it takes up more memory so maybe it has something to do with it. Then you name it whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of the ones I already made. And then you will have already saved your LUT. So, as far as putting your camera, you would insert it into your memory device, like the solid state drive. And then you would click like the two arrows going back and forth where you can find the LUTs and you would import it. Um, with Adobe Premiere, it's obviously a little more, well, it's basically the same thing. You just find it in your, wherever it is in your computer, and then apply it. Right now this is using the Color Vista application. And yeah, you just import it. Pretty, pretty simple. Wait, there it is. And there it is applied. So you can't really see it happening right now, but I assure you it is it is on there. <laughs> Did not think about that extra screen. But yep, that's how you make yourself a lot that you can use your black magic camera or your editing software. Thank you for watching.